Hi guys, welcome to Data Scientist from SHK Excel World. Today's lecture is on creating a drop down list from a list of items. This will not be any kind of list but a dynamic list and secondly we are going to create an interdependent list whereby one drop down list is filtered on the basis of items selected in another drop down list. So if you want to follow along, download the file from the link below. There are different types of data validation. You can set the criteria to whole number, decimal, list, date, time, text length and you can also define custom data validation rules. Today we are going to focus only on one type of data validation that is list. Here we have a list of different products. Here we want to create a simple drop down list over here. We can name this range as products. Select all the items including the heading and go to the name area and you can name here it as products or you can use the shortcut key which is control shift F3. It will ask us to point out the row or column where the name of this range is available which is the topmost row and press OK. Now if we select the items below the products, it is clearly marked as products. Let us go to uh, the drop down list. For creating the drop down list, go to data. In the data tools group, select data validation and in the setting tab, select list and for the source, we can give the range or we can write product. Instead of giving the range, it has given the name of the range, which is products and press OK. Now our drop down list is created. We can select any item we want to. But what if I want to insert a new item in the range? It will not be automatically inserted into the existing drop down. For example, let me create a new product name that is fast food. And let us see if it is included in the range or not. No, it is not. For doing this, we can use the help of Excel tables. Click anywhere in the table, press Ctrl T. It will select the range and yes, my table has headers and press OK. Now we will create a drop down list using this table. But first, let us rename this table by using shortcut key Alt J T A. Or you can go to the table design and rename the table product. Go to the cell below dynamic drop down list and create a new list by using data validation. Select list and in the source give the range of all the products and press OK. So again a list of products is created. Now let us insert a new item or new product like surfers. It should be automatically included in here. We can see that the new item is now included in the drop down list. So with the help of Excel table, we have created a dynamic drop down list and we do not need to reselect the range. Do subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for future videos. Thank you.